Hi, I'm Deborah. You're watching The Last Minute Cook. Today I have tuna melts for y'all, super quick, and I've got some tips if you already do tuna melts that might help you dress them up. So let's get started. First of all, when we're making tuna melts, the bread matters, so make sure you're using a bread that you like. I'm using, this is a homemade bread, but it's just a white bread. Um, use what you have, but just remember that the flavor of the bread obviously will affect your tuna melt. But one of the tips that I wanted to share with you guys is we're basically making a bruschetta. So we want to start with a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it right on our bread slices. I've got mine on a cookie sheet with parchment paper um, and then just drizzle your slices of bread with some good olive oil that you like. If it would be um, a regular olive oil, you can use an extra virgin. Just remember when we put this in the oven that the extra virgin doesn't like that high, high temperatures. But you know, I've used it before because we're going to be topping these. So as long as you don't have a lot of runoff on your cookie sheet, then you should be fine. And if you do have runoff on your cookie sheet, we're gonna to wanna to clean that up so your oven, the inside of your oven, isn't splattered with oil that's hard to clean. And if you end up with a heavy pour, I'll just do one for you. Say, so, oops, I did a heavy pour. Oh no, it's too much, crazy. Well, I'll just pick it up and just maneuver it, kind of like you would in your skillet. And you can even pop it on top of another slice if one didn't get enough. So you can work with it. Okay, so that's one tip. Then I have cooked down the tuna for y'all already because it takes about 10 minutes to cook the tuna down. You can use tuna right out of a can, but it just tastes better if you give it a minute to cook it down. This is tuna in water, cooked down in a little bit of oil, kind of on a low heat until it's just nice and it absorbs the oil and you can add some salt. It tastes really, really good. In fact, you can just grab the tuna really likes the salt. We try not to go too crazy on overboard on the salt, but it does need a little bit. And guess what else tuna likes? Capers! So, yay, capers. We're gonna put some capers in here. Just put those right in and give them a little stir. And once that's all mixed up, we'll start topping our bread slices, which we have drizzled with oil with our tuna. So I am out of fresh tomatoes. I would normally do some nice slices of tomato if I had that on hand. If you don't like tomatoes, just skip them all together. But if you have tomatoes, put them on top. I'm out, so I'm using um, canned diced tomatoes, but they work in a pinch when that's what you've got in your pantry. So just a couple on top of each of the slices and yum, the capers, the tuna, the olive oil, the yummy bread. Oh, this one went without tuna. Well, that's okay. I'll go plant-based on that one. A little bit of uh, tomatoes and I'll throw some capers in just a minute on that one. Now the next step is our cheese. So this is a Colby Jack organic cheese which goes really yummy really well with the tuna, capers, and the tomato. And I just like to get it shaped so that it sits nicely. But maybe that whole one will go on there. Maybe try a triangle. I like to just kind of dress it up if I can. There, yeah, triangle. No, you could just leave a hole. This size fits. My bread is not always the same size, so sometimes I have to change the... Yes, you don't like that. Let's cut it in half. It just looks nicer. There we go. Kind of gets both down the sides of the whole thing instead of just one like square in the middle. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna top the rest of these and then they're going in the oven at 350 and we're gonna just put them in for about, I'm gonna look at about set five, in between five and 10 minutes and check on them and uh, we'll get them pulled out. And I'll show you how it looks. After about five, between five to 10 minutes, I would give you all an exact, maybe about seven. What you're looking for is that the cheese is melted, that it's all warmed through, then it's time to pull it out. And they're delicious. And I'll just show y'all, let me get it plated. These are a little bit um, toasty warm, kind of crispy on the outside, this bread, um, but not so crispy. When we eat this, we eat it with a fork and knife because um, I don't know, it just, it's just, it's easier to eat that way. It's nicer and this is not like a, a pizza. So um, we'll eat it with a fork and knife. So let me get this, it's hot. Let me get this out of the way. Show y'all 
That's it, it started us with a large salad. Oh, I was gonna show you also my little plant-based one. <laughs> Let me get him on here. I realized I had put cheese on that, so I whipped that off and topped this little guy. He's a little bruschetta. My tuna melts and then my traditional kind of bruschetta, but it's a quickie because, you know, it's just some diced tomato, olives, capers, chiseled oil, yummy bread, ready to go. How fast is that dinner? That's super quick, y'all. Give this a try, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learned a little tip about how to dress up your tuna melts for the next time you make them. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and ring the little bell so that you'll be notified of my episodes as they're posted. Find me at my website, lastminutecook.com for more content. And thanks for watching. Buon appetito. Ciao.